Welcome back fellow web creators and entrepreneurs. In this tutorial I'm going to cover how to add a glow effect to video clips in Adobe Premiere. To kick things off, I've added a simple video to my timeline that I'd like to add a glow effect to. To begin, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, Option key on Mac, and drag your clip onto the track above to create a duplicate. Next, click the eye toggle next to the bottom clip to hide it for now. This will allow us to see the changes we're about to make. Now pop on over to the effects panel and type luma key in the search box. Then drag the luma key effect onto your top clip. Okay, now make sure your top clip is selected on your timeline and go over to effect controls. Under luma key, change the cutoff to around 20%. Depending on your scene, you may need a higher percentage. Using the Luma key, the goal is to instruct Premiere to remove all dark areas and only leave the building highlights, because this is the object that we want to glow. Now under Opacity, change the Blend Mode to Pin Light. OK, now re-enable the eye toggle from your bottom track. Next, let's go back over to your Effects panel and search for Gaussian Blur. Drag the Gaussian Blur effect onto your top clip on the timeline. Then, back in Effect Controls, under Gaussian Blur, increase the blurriness to your liking to get the desired glow effect. I suggest ticking the repeat edge pixels so that your glow continues to the edge of the frame. If you're looking for a different glow style, you can change the blur dimensions to vertical or horizontal as shown. Furthermore, if you're looking for a different visual aesthetic, you can experiment with the different blend modes under opacity. The color dodge mode will boost the highlights and dim the colors, while the linear dodge add mode will create more of an intense look. But if it's too much, you can lower the opacity to decrease its intensity. In my case, I'm happy with the pin light effect. Lastly, if you want to add a little color tint to your glow, go over to the effects panel and type HLS in the search box. Drag the color balance HLS effect onto your top clip. Now back in effect controls, under your color balance HLS setting, Simply play with the hue, lightness and saturation settings to get your desired look. In my case it looks a bit like a hot pastel mess, but hopefully you get the idea. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.